Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to this episode. Today we're finally going to learn how to make a JSON file to save and load our player data. Before we start, I really want to thank Santiago Gandolfo and SJ Omas for their support in Patreon. You guys are really awesome. Now, let's begin with the video. Please remember to subscribe and share and leave any questions you might have in the comments. So first of all, I prepared a very simple scene for us some cubes, a player that I downloaded from the asset store, and I just put the main camera inside our player so it will follow it. And also, and most importantly, I downloaded the simple JSON class, which is what we're going to be using today to create our JSON file. You can download it from the link on the description, or you can try to search it on Google, simple JSON Unity, and you probably will find it. The first thing we want to do now is create a C -sharp class, and we're going to call it player. Here we will have the attributes of our character. Before we start creating code, we want to tell Unity that we will be using system.io and we're also going to be using simple JSON. Now we want to create the information that is going to be saved with our JSON file. I'm going to go ahead and type it by myself and you can of course pause the video and copy everything once I finished. Now these are going to be the stats of my player and I want to save this all in a JSON file. So we want to create two functions. We want to create a save function and we also want to create a load function. To keep it simple, I'm just going to call my functions from the uptake function. So go ahead and type if input dot get key down key code dot s so this is going to be for saving and the same for loading but we're going to use l instead of s nice now i'm not going to go into too much detail about what json is but basically json is an object that uses a key to find a value creating a json object is very simple just type json object give it a name in this case I'm going to call it player JSON and it's just equals to a new JSON object and there you go now we want to add some values to it so let's go ahead and type player JSON dot add and this will allow us to add a key for example the name of our player and we want to actually save the name which is the name that we will give to our player in the inspector so there you go. Now do the same for each value. I'm going to skip ahead again. And so now we added all the values of our player to the JSON. So let's say we were advancing in our game. We got some level ups or some upgrades. So we got more strength, more speed. So now we want to save those in our player JSON so that later on we can load them. We also want to save the position. For saving the position, we're going to use a JSON array since the position is actually a vector 3, which is kind of like an array with three values. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to create a JSON array, just like when we created the JSON object. We're going to call it position and we're going to make it equals to a new JSON array, just like that. This is actually very similar to a JSON object, but instead of using a key as an string, it just uses the numeric indices of a normal array. So we want to add the X y and z components of our player transform position to our json array so position dot add transform dot position dot x and we want to do the same for y and z so y and z so that's going to save our position but this json array is just floating around we want to add it to our player json so we can save it as well so player json dot add and now we have to use a key so the key is going to be position and the value is going to be our json array which is position great we created our first json now let's try to debug it on our console to see if we're actually creating a correct json player json dot and we want this as a string so we go ahead and type to string we go back to unity 
And remember to add the player class to our player, otherwise it won't work. And now we play it. And if I press S, you will see that we have actually a JSON object here. So if you haven't seen a JSON object, this is how they look like. So we have here the key name and it's empty. And here all everything is empty because we didn't initialize anything. So let's go ahead and give a name to our player. I'm going to call him Juan. I'm going to make him level one and I'm going to give him random values. So now if I press S, you'll see that all the values in our JSON object have been modified. So what we want to do next is take this string here. We want to save it in our system. So even after we close our game, we can still load this because it's been saved in our computer. So if you want to learn how to create a text file, please make sure to check my video by clicking on the right corner here or by clicking the link in the description. First, we want to have a path for our file and we're going to use the persistent data path. So string path equals application dot persistent data path. And we also need to add our file name. So I'm going to call it player save dot JSON. Next, we want to create our file. So file dot write all text. We give it a path and our content is simply player JSON dot to string. Now, if we try this and I press S, you'll see that the file is being created in our computer. If you're in Windows, you can find your persistent data path in the following folder. So just open a file explorer and under the C drive, you go to users, your username, app data, local low, the company name that you're using, and then your project name. In this case is JSON tutorial. And you will see here that we have a player save dot JSON. And if I open it, it actually is the name and everything that we haven't set yet in our inspector in the editor. Let's give Juan his name again. So we call him Juan. We're going to make it level one, just some random values. And we're going to save this. And if I go ahead and reload this file, now this information is actually saved within a folder of our computer, the persistent data path folder. Excellent. The only thing left for us to do is load this file and set each value so that we can actually load the data of our character. So we need the path again. So we're just going to copy it and paste it here. Now we want to create a new string called JSON string. I'm going to call it that. And it's going to be the text of our JSON file. So file dot read all text this time. And we're going to tell it the path to our JSON file. Now we need to create a JSON object again so we can access each value. To create a JSON object from a string, we're going to use parse. So JSON object player JSON is equals to JSON dot parse JSON string. And we have a little error here. We cannot directly convert, so we need to use some casting JSON object. And there you go. So the last thing we want to do is set the values here. So we're going to do basically the same that we did here, but invert it so that we're actually going to read the values from our player JSON. So for example, the name is going to be equal to the player JSON. And then we use the square brackets just like in an array to type our key. So we want to get the name and we do this for every value. There you go. The position is going to be a little bit tricky because remember that our position is an array. So we want to set our player transforms position as a new vector three and we want to load X, Y, and Z. So simply go ahead and type player JSON. We want to get the position, but remember that this position is an array. So we type as array and we can get each value through their numeric index. So zero is going to be our X, one is going to be our Y, and two is going to be our Z. Now we can actually go ahead and try this. So let's go to our game 
we already saved our player info. So we can just load it and you'll see that immediately we have the name Juan, we have the level and all the stats as we saved them previously. Oh, and I forgot to try to save the position. So let's go ahead and move Juan a little bit to the left. Let's see over there. And I'm going to press S again to save it. That should have overridden our JSON file. And now if I play again, you'll see everything goes back to 0000. zero, zero, zero. And if I press load, you will see that we go back to that position. Our player gets his name again and all his info. So that's great. We did it. We used a JSON to save our data and load it into our player even after we close and start our application again. So we created a JSON object. We also made a JSON array for the position. We saved it in our computer with write all text. Then we read this text and use it to create a new JSON object. And from that JSON object, we set all the values of our player. Congratulations. Now you can save and load your player data for your games and your projects. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you learned something. Again, thank you all for your support. And a special thanks to my patrons in Patreon. Your support really means a lot. Please remember to subscribe, leave a like and share. And I will see you all on the next one.